What's up guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial we're going to be going over the standard color vivid landscape preset and we're going to talk about basically what situations we use this preset for, the difference between this versus the soft portrait version of the standard color preset as well as of course how to create this preset using the Lightroom 4 preset system. So we'll do the mixology at the very end. So you'll notice that I have a image selected. This image was actually shot at in uh, Point Loma out in I think Paul's Verdes in California and uh, if we apply this standard color uh, preset it's going to basically really kind of enhance the detail and the colors in the image. When we compare this to the soft portrait version you can see how much flatter the soft portrait version is and it's really this this preset is not designed for landscapes. So we typically would use this uh, preset on images that are landscapes, nature shots, but they don't necessarily have to be just a landscape image. It can have subjects in it but the kind of images that we like to use it with are the images that are wider. Uh, you know, our subjects, our models are part of the overall environment versus like a close up portrait where this would be basically kind of do too much enhancing on skin and facial detail that we really want to diminish and not enhance. And we'll show you guys kind of examples of that. So, of course, uh, this is designed for, uh, you know, a shot that is correctly exposed as well as, you know, you have your white balance set. With this image, this was a little bit underexposed, so what we want to do is go into our base adjustments and add a half a stop because it was underexposed by about a half a stop. Let's go on to another image. So let's select this image, yet another uh, kind of landscape shot. This is actually taken out in Peru, I believe, on uh, Chris's vacation. So we apply the standard color, vivid landscape, we get kind of a nice high contrast look to this image, uh, and it just really kind of pops. And from here we might adjust our you know, white balance as we, as we like, but uh, we'll just leave it right there. Now, I'm going to go on to this image. This image is kind of an example of an image I might apply the Vivid Landscape Standard Color Preset to. Because this is more pulled back, we're not kind of uh, looking at close-up facial detail, it, it might actually work kind of well. And I think it would, but you know, again, you're going to have to tweak this kind of setting with the white balance and everything because it's really going to enhance all of the colors in the image. So we see that their skin is oversaturated. We need to go over to our temperature and just kind of pull down the white balance a bit and then we'd make some adjustments to the exposure and whatnot. But this is as close up as I would go. When you go to something like this, if we go away from the standard color soft portrait, then what you're going to get if we select the standard color vivid is you'll see this crazy overall uh, just enhancement of facial detail that we do not want enhanced. Okay, so this is kind of the setting that we definitely would not use the preset in. Now I'll show you guys another kind of uh, environmental portrait look. I'm going to reset this by hitting Control shift r or Command shift r on a Mac. Let's go and find some other images that we can apply this setting to. This is another environmental shot which would look great with this preset. Uh, so let's select the standard color vivid landscape preset and let's see what we get. Again, the image really pops. It looks great. What I might do is just warm it up a little bit for the skin tone just with uh, my temperature over here and then basically call it good from there. We can make it, you know, if you want to make some minor adjustments to uh, exposure, that's fine too. It might actually look good a half a stop under just to kind of darken it up and make it a little more moody. Let's go on to another image. Whoops, I'm going to zoom back out. All right, go into grid view by hitting G. And let's scroll down. Another kind of an image that this works really well on are basically detail shots. Um, you know, if you guys are wedding or event photographers, this uh, the standard color vivid landscape works really well on just basically creating a nice enhanced look to your detail shots. Just make a quick adjustment to your exposure and your white balance, and you're good to go from there. Let's go on another type of look that I really love is I love these uh, super wide landscape images. I'm going to show you guys. I think I have one. Actually, this one would look cool too. Let's go and apply it to this cliff setting right here. All right. So let's go and apply, oh, close up our base adjustments. There we go. And then standard color vivid landscape. And then I'm going to pull this a half a stop down. All right, so once again, you can see how it kind of makes a nice punchy look to images that are kind of more pulled back, more environmental portraits versus close-up portraits. And let's check out the before and after on some of these. So there's the before, here's the after. Let's go on to our final image, and then we'll show you guys the mixology. Let's see. There's one other image that I saw. I think it's this one. I think this one looked really cool. So again, a wider shot. We want to really kind of enhance the overall color in the image. Uh, and just kind of pull it out a little bit. Standard color, 
does a great job of really adding contrast, adding a lot of greens to the field, uh, and then from here we tweak our white balance however we like. But that's kind of the situations where we'd use that vivid landscape, not only for landscape images, but for environmental portraits. Now let's go through the actual mixology and show you guys how this setting is created. All right, so we're going to use this image, and we're going to go and reset it to our standard import, which is how it should come into Lightroom. Now from here, we're going to go down to our base adjustments, and we're going to start with our base tones, and we're going to do a light HDR base tone just to kind of lift a little bit of the dynamic range in the image. Next, we're going to jump down to detail. We're going to do a light boost of detail um, just to kind of make the overall, just kind of bring up the mid-tone contrast and boost the clarity a bit. We want a light boost of contrast as well. And then we also want to do, uh, we're going to skip over blacks. We don't need to adjust the blacks. Uh, actually, we're good uh, over here. We have saturation we're going to leave as standard because we don't want it to be too crazy. Um, and we can adjust saturation kind of on an image by image basis. We want to create a nice preset just overall for all of our uh, images. So we're done here with noise reduction. We don't need any noise reduction because, again, we want to enhance detail, not diminish it at all. So we're going to skip that and we're going to close up our base adjustments. We're going to go down to our neutral curves once again, and we're going to drop to neutral punches and select ivory. And this is going to create a nice uh, kind of ivory punch curve. And then we're done, guys. So four clicks, and we, uh, was it four or five? I don't remember. Four or five clicks, guys, and we got our nice preset done here. So we're going to go back up. From here, you would save this out as a new mixology by hitting the plus. Once again, deselect white balance, lens profile corrections, transform and chromatic aberration. Select your My Mixology folder and name this whatever you like. If you have the 1.1 update, again, no need to do this but because uh, we already have it in there. But this is the setting you would do. And you'd name it however you like, hit Create, and then we have it saved under My Mixology in the standard color Vivid Landscapes. All right, guys, so let's show you the final before and after with this image. Here is the before image. Here is the after image. This standard color vivid landscape gives us a nice punchy look to those landscape or environmental portrait images. Alright guys, let's go on to the next tutorial.